Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, The Bird of Plant Show. And today, I have one of my dear friends, Stephanie here. Hey guys. She's going to be joining us. We're just going to have girl talk, okay? <laughs> just straight girl talk. Because, no, we girls be talking. Oh, yeah. We be talking. For sure. We be talking. And them dudes be like, I'm out of here. I know, right? <laughs> they like, be out of there. Y'all like, talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> we be chatting. But we just going to talk. But we're going to talk over food, obviously. So today, this is good. Stephanie, I asked her, Stephanie, what do you like? She said fish or chicken. Yeah, Daughter of Africa. I'm <laughs> Daughter of Africa. Let me tell you something. Because Africans and Caribbeans, we don't do no avocado toast for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> we be doing heavy body. Yeah, we need we be doing food. We food. need meat, meat. Meat, <laughs> chicken. You know what I'm saying? So when you said fish or chicken, I was just like, hmm. Okay. I was thinking bacon, mad American eyes. <laughs> I said, all right, let me just do, when I thought fish, I said, let me just do Aki and Sawfish. And she's Jamaican, so it's perfect, yeah. right? So, no Aki, though. Yeah. What? No, no Aki. Sawfish is good, though. I'm not, it's more of a sawfish <laughs> and dumpling. Ball dumpling. I don't like Aki. I don't like the texture. I love it. I love it. I don't like the texture. I think, I think you need to go to Jamaica to actually have it. Yeah, because yeah, I feel like, like from I'm, the tree. Yeah. And not in, like, the tent. I think I would like it better back home. From the tree because over here a lot of people buy it from the from, from can. The, yeah, yeah, and I feel like by the, I, it, you don't know how long it been in yeah, there. Yeah, and it, it definitely tastes out because um, it's way different. too soft for me. I don't like mm. for sure. Well, it it does have like a kind of softness. Yeah, soft but it be ish. mush. Yeah, okay, mush. Yeah, no, no, no. But I feel like that's because it's probably from the can. Yeah, so I feel like I would like it better if a straight aki from the tree. Yeah, and it depends there. on who cook it to. Oh, maybe yeah. overcooking it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so and enough salt, you know. Yeah, so I just did. This is a breakfast I'll make from time to time, so I just did sawfish and dumpling, but no aki. Yeah. Don't come for me, Jamaicans. <laughs> this is purposely done, because I'm no, not feeling the we aki. We eat this as well, so yeah. Okay, so yeah. I'm not feeling the aki in America. This is just <laughs> my thing, okay? I'm going to have to take her to Jamaica. Yo, isn't Jamaica like, I know the band thing. Wait, speaking of Jamaica, isn't a band thing going on? Yeah. Yo, what's up with that? Yeah, yeah. I don't even know the details too tough, but it's one of those times where, you know, America's just like, hey, don't go there. <laughs> what? Vice Cartel's out, out of prison? <laughs> <laughs> is that why? No shade vibes. But are you out of no, prison? I think it's just the typical, you know, how crime is an issue. Is it? But you were just there, though. Yeah, I was. How was, was the crime? Was it? It wasn't. It was, well, we're kind of, I wouldn't say used to it, but I mean, it's not like a huge flare up now. So I, I don't know why the states just. Do you think you know, they're gassing? Because they do the same thing with Africa. Now they tell you, don't go to Africa, there's Ebola, even though it was made in okay? <laughs> Whatever. There's Ebola, there's this, don't go, then go. You yeah. think it's one of those? It's just... probably one of those, yeah. Take it behind to Jamaica, okay? Just Hold stay on, on the resorts. It's, don't it's... go to no Kingston. <laughs> Why? Why not Kingston? Because even my friends don't are Jamaica from <laughs> Jamaica, they don't go to Kingston. So if Yo, they took no good, there are just places in Kingston to avoid. Oh, just know? like places in yeah. Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But how yeah. would you know what to avoid? Jamaicans will tell you. <laughs> like we'll tell you. All right, don't really head down that side. You know, stay up this side. <laughs> All I know is okay. I, what, what, what was um, uh, Chelsea from? Was not Spanish Town. Chelsea. Oh. My friend Chelsea, was this? No, Chelsea, you do know, do we know Chelsea. I, I think, you know yeah. her sister, Brittany? Yeah. Yes, I forget. They're up in the mountains somewhere, okay? I remember they, this is my stereotype back in the day. They were like, oh, come to Jamaica for, at the end of the school year. My parents was like, Jamaica. <laughs> you did crazy. I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> you are not going to Jamaica. I was just like, it's not that bad. I really want to go. But of course, we've been sold the lies of like, but it's not even the lies. I feel like sometimes too, I blame mm -hmm. the people, not just Jamaicans, Africans too, black people. In our music, we promote this violence. Oh, yeah. You get what I'm saying? We always it promote always it. Goes so there. those who don't know, who don't live there, we get this idea like, Everybody's walking around with their AK forty seven shooting up because that's what you've been promoting. Yeah, that's true. So I was I was kinda had that fear of Jamaica from the music. Yeah, yeah. You the know what music I'm the music does push that. Yeah. It does push that ideology that, you know. I mean, yeah, crime is definitely an issue. But crime there. is everywhere. Though. Yeah, it is. It is. Cops just it got is. slapped up on forty second street. <laughs> <She> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like it just have a forty second street, yeah. so it's like crime is everywhere. Yeah, it is. It is. It's true. So um, it's like, but but it's also a very beautiful country. I see. It's gorgeous. We have amazing beaches. The yes. culture. Oh, the culture alone. Of course. <laughs> the culture alone of is course. a lot. You know. So yeah. I'm never making to Jamaica, but I'm going with the Jamaicans. 
Yeah, for sure. I'm here. But I have a Jamaican... F- I'm not going to say her name because I'm not going to put her on the front street. I Jamaican- got you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Jamaican, but she's just like, I'm not. I would never go back to Jamaica. I have a co-worker that would say, I really? would never... Go- yes, I'm like, I love dang. it. I, 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 a, I have my... F- lives in Jamaica now. Like, what do you mean? She's like, I would never... So-. I'm like... And they're Jamaican. <laughs> No. One was born there, one was born here. So I was so confused by that. And they were like, we, we'd never go back? Never. Yeah. No, I'm not that one. I think they listen to too much For vibes. Sure. I, I Don't love you think it. they listen to too much vibes? Vi- vibes Carter? Yeah. Yeah. Him, Skang, a whole bunch of others. <laughs> you know? You want some? Yeah, sure. So today, like nice. I said, we're having Aki and Sawfish and Mimosas. Do you usually do Aki and Sawfish? Why are we just going to glamorize it just a bit, right? I know you probably do it with Sorrow. Um, what do you what do you use your um, you can sawfish? Um, I can sawfish. Uh, yeah, orange juice is fine. A oh, juice, any juice, any type of juice. Yeah, any type of juice. Is fine. I thought about mango juice, but you know. <laughs> so let's dig in. For sure. Hopefully, I don't disappoint because I ain't Jamaican. No, but you're a good one. <laughs> you're a big cookie though. <laughs> <laughs> you know, An- another dinner party gonna come up soon. Oh, I love those. Another dinner party. We're gonna do it this month. I, I have to figure out when. Oh, yeah. Definitely. He took us to one of those because that Thanksgiving one. Woo! Enjoyed it. Oh, what was it that you made again? You made chicken and. It was Morocco, so we did. I did big chicken. Mm-hmm. And then I had. Mm, that was good. Good? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> it was big chicken, Moroccan salad, mm-hmm. and Moroccan rice. It had all the spices. It was a lot of meat kind you made. Hmm? Oh, the lamb? Oh. <laughs> they, 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 they loved that one. It was so good. I did that one. So good. It was pre-season. Let that baby marinate for a couple of hours, a couple of days. <laughs> yeah, very tasty. I'm trying to learn, actually. I want to learn. I was trying to do Japan this time around. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I do love. And udon. Right? That's it. That's it. <laughs> African accent, right? But I want to do Japan and do, like, um, noodles and all that stuff, but I don't know. I, I feel like I need to, cause their Asian cuisine is quite intricate. I feel mm. like I need practice before I do that. Cause a lot of stuff I could look at it and kind of figure it out, mm-hmm. but that I feel like I need practice. It's tasty. Look, Asian cuisine. Yeah, and it's just like it's a lot of it's a lot of ingredients I don't normally use. Mm-hmm. I could do the Moroccan. I could do the Spanish. I could do the Caribbean because a lot of our stuff is pretty similar. Similar. Mm-hmm. But them is different. Totally. You have to find so, so, um, soy alternatives because, you know, men are eating too. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. But, but, I mean, yeah, I'm there. For sure. Mm-hmm. Come to the empty stomach. Let me know. Maybe. But, yeah, so today, there's a real introduction. <laughs> and them two first. <laughs> Today, well, first I want to get into like what you do before it's a deep, deep conversation. Because I think what you do is not common. Mm-hmm. Not say normal, but common. Because you only meet a lot of black women, mm-hmm. young black women like that that do what you do. So can you tell us what you do for a living? Okay, um, I'm in project management um, in the architectural field. I also do expediting and code consulting. So right. in other words, speak English. <laughs> right. I don't right? speak English. What? I don't. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. Just go. Let's move. So in layman terms, that's like, um, so we work with expediters. Um, we work with general contractors. Mm-hmm. Um, when you have like a project or a renovation that needs to get done, mm-hmm. um, I would come alongside the contractor mm-hmm. and I'd help him through the entire process from like beginning okay. to end and I would be like the go-to person so I, I don't do a lot of that but what I also do is mm-hmm. uh, in order to like get the permits from the city mm-hmm. yeah I'm the go-to person for that like I would go mm-hmm. I'll make sure that the drawings are good make sure everything is in place and mm-hmm. yeah and then we get the the permits Oh, you're the permit person. Yeah, so I'm, I am I do both. Okay. Yeah. So this is for big companies, though, right? Or is it 
It's, yeah, it's something you have, house or you, you have, mean like you have small companies as well. So, all right, so you have new construction like grown up from from the grown from foundation going mm -hmm. up, and then you also have like you know like a renovation. You just bought like a brownstone, and you wanna do a whole gut reno. Yeah. We do oh, that you as do well. for little people too. Yeah, we do for. Oh, but okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and just in order for you to get. I, the reason I really want to want you to go into details about this, because I remember when I was in college, I don't know if you felt the same way. Mm -hmm. I had no idea what I wanted to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you had the same African mentality. You have to be a lawyer. A <laughs> the same. A doctor. I know. If it's not those three, girl, you're not. You're not. What? You're not successful in life. Get your life together. <laughs> and I had, right. And I had no idea what I wanted, I wanted to do. I switched majors about mm -hmm. two times, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I was doing pharmacy. I like, I like the medical field and whatnot. When I saw all that math, I said, bro, keep the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> like, I left. <laughs> I'm sucking for me, okay? So, I really, because a lot of people don't know, like, what else is out there? What else make money? And you could be successful yeah. not being those three things that I mentioned. For sure. So, with that, did it, like, what, how much school did it take? Um, so, I did a four-year degree mm -hmm. um, in Jamaica. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, I nice. Did. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. But if you want... So, I'm not registered. But if you want to be registered, mm -hmm. you have to go on to do your master's and then experience and then do, like, uh, licensing, which is, like, seven exams. Yeah, that's Here. me right now. Yeah, that's me right now. Okay. Oh, licensing? Oh. Mine's a oh. nine exams. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> which exam are you on, though? Math. I'm still <laughs> on it for a reason. <laughs> no, I'm like that, too. Math and physics? Yeah. I'm not a fan of those, but yeah. Maybe you walk into it too, don't I you need that? I, well, yeah, to pass. But like going through, you don't really find yourself too deep into it unless it's like, you know, like structural engineering. Like engineers for sure. You can be on the gym without math. I don't even want you to touch my house without math. Like what? Yeah. Engineering, engineers mm -hmm. absolutely need it, right? So there's like the architect. The architect, he's more alongside of design. It's funny how you say design. Hey. Yeah, it's mainly men. That's crazy, right? That's so wild. I know. So wild. It's one of those things, man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we have to like deconstruct that stuff. No, seriously. Like, <laughs> she said, he, I'm looking at her like, like you. Who? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> who is a she? Like, what? That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. It's it's something you have to deconstruct because, mm -hmm. you know, but it's changing now, which yeah? is good. I okay. love that. So, the office that I work at actually is majority woman, which is unheard of. So it's like a, a small office of like mm -hmm. um, 12, 12, 13, mm -hmm. around that. So I want to say about nine are women. Wow. Yeah. How yeah. do the men feel? Are they feeling like they have to be macho macho? No, not really. Fun? Not really at all. Uh, I find wow. that these men are very um, cooperative and they see the obviously value that's added. Wow. So that's hard to find. Very hard to find. Because usually, not all men, because hate, I hate to make yeah. a blanket statement, but a lot of men, when they find themselves, and they have to let it be known that I'm a man. Oh yeah, and, oh like, yeah. Sit down. The whole macho thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not at, not at the place that I'm at right now. How the women are they be, are they petty or are they just? Because I mean, let's let's be for real. Not <laughs> how we get sometimes. Yeah. No. These these women are like business oriented. They're like very mature, and they know what they want, and they're very focused. So, I put you in a good spot. I know. <laughs> Cause, bro. He, yeah, he took me from like a immature place to a very mature Cause place. Cause I'm a teacher, and no shade to teachers. Sometimes it gets catty. Not my job. <laughs> Not my job, though. I Let's have the up. best. <laughs> no, real talk. I have such a great community. Yeah. At work, like, and it's very hard to find in the teaching life. Yeah. Cause it's very catty. I get you. I'm like, y'all got teachers. Yeah, workplace can get really catty. Why y'all so catty? Y'all teach kids. Yeah. The it's, hell y'all catty for? I know. I remember when I first got into DOE and I heard about all the cattiness that teachers face and deal with and go through and mm -hmm. are part of. I'm just like, that's what people did in fashion. I can understand fashion because it's a superficial, it's yeah. material stuff. I don't, you know what I'm trying to say? It has not, it doesn't have much substance to it. No shade. <laughs> okay, but let's be for real. Actually, if you're shady, oh well, I still got to It doesn't really have much substance to it. It's just clothes, right? And then mm -hmm. they like, you're not saving lives, it's clothes, right? Mm -hmm. Or it might, depends. Okay, whatever. So, <laughs> the, but you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I get but you. But you're a I totally teacher. Get you. 
Yeah. What is the your, kindness you have for? Impact. Right. A direct and, impact. Yeah. You're teaching. So it's just like, but then teaching has a lot of women in it. That's why I was like, how is it a lot of women? Is it gay or is it just trans? But the fact that they said it's very business oriented. Yeah. Thank it's God. very business. Those women, they're not even, they're not even with the whole gossip stuff. No. They're just in and out. <laughs> I came here to make my money, do what I love, and go mm-hmm. home. I and love that home. for you. Yeah, for okay. sure. It was like a huge difference, you mm-hmm. know, from what I had before. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what I had before was the opposite. What did you have? <laughs> a bunch of young people? Yeah. People on the younger side. And they were just like, a lot talking. That's my issue with working with a lot of young people. Yeah. Once again, I'm in such a great spot at work, at my job, that everybody's so chill. But that's one thing I hate about work with young people. And I'm young, so I can say this. Mm-hmm. We become so prideful. Yeah. So prideful. So quick. Can't tell them nothing. Can't take critique. Can't take some type, any type of feedback. Everything is an attack. Everything is personal. I'm like, yo, chill out. So I always enjoy working with older people. But the problem with older people is mm-hmm. they be stuck in their ways. Yeah, that's so and true. And they hate, because I've worked with older people and I was their boss. And they hate when a younger person is their boss. They, it's, they cannot take... Yeah, that's a lot to process for them. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, there damn. Is, yeah, it's it's just the generation thing, you know? Right, so on both sides. <laughs> so, but which which devil would you prefer? I mean, none of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, which which one would you prefer? I don't know. I don't know if I can answer that question. I don't know. Pride, pride is a lot to do with. Because you just feel like you can't. Yeah, you feel like I can't you, get through to it, they can. Yeah, and, and, and you're holding on to, you know things that you accomplish. So it's all about you, 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 you. Right. So it's hard to cut through the you, you, you. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So you choose the older people. Yeah, I, I would. <laughs> I usually Not do, that to you be honest. Down. You, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Right. You got a point. Okay. Yeah. You got a point. I know much as we're going, because, yo, this one is slapping in his clothes. I wanted to eat before. It's cold. good, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's what Stephanie does. Mm-hmm. It's pretty dope. It's pretty cool. So if you need renovation, yeah. that's your guy. You, see, you just renovated your house. I did my bathroom. Yo. Yeah. But with the help of a friend. So yeah. Yo. <laughs> and that joint is beautiful. I want to think I asked. I said, who did this? He said, I did. I was like, who's mine? <laughs> beautiful. So if you need renovations, I'm here. <laughs> She's here. Okay? A lot of y'all buying homes and what I mean, speaking of buying homes, I don't even know. I just you know what the crazy thing is? I just going off topic, but <laughs> that's what girls do. So I just read this thing on CNN, right? It came up and it was like a lot of young people have given up their dream, given up their dream of, of buying, a, buying house. a house in America because of how crazy everything is. I saw that. What the heck? I'm not you, but are we basing off I don't know how it is in other states, but I know New York. <laughs> You don't buy a house? <laughs> yeah, no. Maybe you want to get yourself a Barbie dream house and call the day. Like, what? I know. Like, New York is like... New York is... <laughs> yo. Yeah, this, but that's what? why I think so many people are th- are considering the South. You know? Like, you know people that have been to the South? Yeah. Like, yeah. A few people, right? I consider you know the South, too. Yeah. The South is a bit cheaper. And I don't know. The market is just wild right now. Hopefully things will stabilize, but it's too expensive. And they keep, like New York, they keep building homes. Who's living in them? That's what I'm saying. Every day. I keep, I'm like, every, how many humans do you have to? You see all these towers every going Every day. Drill. <laughs> like, who is living it's, here? It's so crazy. Because you know these, some of these apartments are not even full, but yet they're always building homes. Uh, yeah. And not only that, too. So they'll build crazy. one. Mm-hmm. That one's not full. But then build one mm-hmm. right beside it. Yeah, that makes sense. What's the point of that? <laughs> How you gonna fill that one? <laughs> what is the point of that? It makes me think like somebody rich is just buying it up. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think that's it. Because what? Why? It's the developers. The developers um, they realize that Brooklyn has a lot of um, potential, and they kind of want to make Brooklyn like a mini Manhattan. We don't want that. <laughs> we the people I know. of Brooklyn do not want that. <laughs> we're like, no, we're cool on that. We 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 are. You know what the thing? Because what I noticed about the difference between Manhattan and Brooklyn, mm-hmm. unless we're talking about Harlem, that's different. I'm not Harlem is not included in this conversation. <laughs> and if you're Manhattan, Harlem correct me. Excluded. Because what I'm going to say. The reason I'm, I'm saying that is because Brooklyn is a neighborhood. You actually have neighborhoods. You know your neighbors. You see people actually 
going to a park. It's like, you know, you know what I'm saying? You see the same mm-hmm. people over and over. I feel like Manhattan, unless the places I go to just feel like you go and shop and once the store is closed, it's, the life is gone. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The store is closed, the clubs, the life is gone. Where Brooklyn, the stores could close, but the neighbors are still out. You know what I'm saying? That's why Harlem is different because Harlem do feel like a neighborhood. Like, if I was to move to Manhattan, I would move to Harlem. Mm-hmm. Because they have more of a neighborhood community than Manhattan does. To have more of, like, a warmth. Yeah, 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 yes. That's the word. Yeah. Than Manhattan does. So, yeah, Manhattan is kind of rigid, to be honest. <laughs> Iron Man. And bougie. It's, it's just bougie as heck. It's so bougie. So bougie. Oh, look at my Iron Man. Like, <laughs> okay. But then it's like now people want to move to Brooklyn. We don't want that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We like what we do. Do you represent Brooklyn? <laughs> Yo, the Brooklyn folks said we don't want that. Yo, Brooklyn folks, hop in, please. Like, back me up. Like, we don't want that because if you want man, we're the moods, man, if we can afford it. Yeah. Because now they're making Brooklyn so dang on expensive. Brooklyn is ridiculous, right? Yo, now. I just went to the store. <laughs> I just went to the store to get green peppers for this joint. Mm-hmm. This half a cent. <laughs> Yo, this pepper said $7.99 a pound for green pepper. I was like, hmm? For green pepper. Is this pepper from Garden of Eden? Oh my goodness. I said, yo fam, you got me twisted. I walked out. I left. I would too. I went to Kifu. For sure. I'm yes. like, oh. And they said three nine. Because I remember that same story. I was talking. I said, <laughs> yes. I said, how do you charge more than Whole Foods? Oh my gosh. That's wild. But yeah. Because all they that's do in, is just, that's inflation for yeah, They just renovate the place, make it look pretty and very mm-hmm. organic. And then they want to charge you stupid money. I'm like, are you dumb? I'm a lot stupid. of money. Unnecessarily. For green pepper. Just cause. Just we, because we somebody's gonna pay for it. Yeah. I'm not I'm not I'm I'm, I'm not gonna be the one. <laughs> Brooklyn got crazy. Yeah. Is Brooklyn it? is getting crazy. It is, it is. Especially um downtown side. Let's not even talk about downtown. <laughs> downtown is just wild. Well, you know, property. What are they talking over there? You mean like to rent? Yeah, what are they talking? Oh my goodness. Like uh, like a, a two bedroom? Depend on the building? Humble yourself. One. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One. Let's, let's humble thyself. Like, I know, right? Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. Um, a one bedroom is going for like 3,000. <laughs> what? Easily. Come again. Three, three plus. Oh yeah, easily. A one bedroom in Brooklyn, downtown area. I don't even know if you can get anything in the two region down there, unless it's like, it needs a lot of work or something. It's, I don't know. Hmm? <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know you're trying my to process it, right? <laughs> you see my brain just working like. <laughs> She's like, hmm? <laughs> Yeah, I want bedroom. I'm about so I'm part of this group chat, this mm-hmm. parent group chat, and like this lady was moving to Pakistan for a few months because she just had a baby. She was looking to give up her apartment or rent it. Mm-hmm. I said, how much? <laughs> this lady said. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. And she said, what, fifty-five hundred a month? Excuse What's me. What's a duplex? I said, like, <laughs> you could be a dude. I'll be fronting too. I'll be, I'll be in full character mode. <laughs> oh, nice. I would definitely let my friends know because I had a couple of friends that was looking for an apartment. I would definitely let them know and see what they think. You I know, know, right? You had to play into it. <laughs> now, Listen, one friend, I, my friend be like, yo, you feel good out my face. <laughs> 5,500 duplex? Uh, where is that, you said? Best size. Yeah, bet. Oh, yeah. Best size is wild. First, I have no respect. <laughs> <laughs> and then once it's a brownstone, that's it. Brownstone adds it adds like another thousand. Yeah, <laughs> you can for no paint. reason. You can take paint. <laughs> I just paint brown. brown. <laughs> like what? Yeah, yeah. For real. I think it's just in general. <clears throat> it's wild out here. All sorts of what? But these houses are wild. Oof. Cost of everything is wild. Everything. Men are wild. Women oh. are wild. Children are wild. It's the wild, wild west. <laughs> it's yeah. crazy. One of them are wild, wild east. 
Yo, what's good with these men out here? Oh. I've heard stories. Girl. She got to take a breather. It's bad, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> she got to take a breather. It's bad, y'all. Girl. Where do I start? Where do we start? Start from the ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> start from the ghetto. Yeah. Um, dating is, yeah, pretty ghetto <laughs> out here, for sure. Um, if it's not, uh, like, if it's not weird or just men that are just not intentional, you know, mm. like, that's one of the, the hard parts of it. Mm. Like, I, like, men not being intentional. Like, they'll strike up a conversation, but then it's not falling through. Hey, how you doing? And then, you know, and then it just, it just dies. It's like the interest. It's like they kind of want to be sought after. Yes. Which is so wild to me. I got me. a lot to say about that. And I'm just like, no. That's not how it goes. No, you're supposed to pursue. Me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah and make the effort, like, you know? And... Uh, just trying to even find... All right, so dating as a Christian is a whole different thing. <laughs> First of all, we have to sift through to see if you're really even a Christian. Right. Then after you get past that, no, you have to realize, okay, what kind of Christian are you? Are you for real, real? Or you're are you just, just going to just... Right? Like, are you relying on your mama's Christianity or... Right. <laughs> your grandmama's Christianity. Or is it just a, you really yeah. have a relationship with yeah. him. Yeah. Do you really have a relationship with him? Then when you get past that, no, you be like, all right, cool. He really has a relationship. Um, now then, you bring up what's your childhood traumas? Yeah, the childhood traumas, and it's just like step after step after step. Like, so the childhood tra traumas, they're there. Are you getting help for them? No. No, nah, for what? God is gonna fix me. <laughs> this is true, but God is also telling you to get some therapy. Yeah, go get some help. Yeah, get some help. Process, but you're a little crazy. Just a little process some of that stuff. You understand? Just tab it, crazy. <laughs> you have to. Yeah, then after getting past that now, it's the whole, all right, are we even on the same, you know? Do we want the same thing? Yeah, like, do we want the same things? And it's just a lot. It's a lot. The dating. So when you say they're weird, what do you mean by weird? Because sometimes I wonder if, do you think that people lost their social skills because of I think I think COVID, and technology? Yeah, and I think, I think, Social media did a lot, and I think COVID did a lot. Dang, COVID really taking L. COVID did a lot. Really? Oh, yeah, for sure. COVID took a whole different turn. And when I say weird, I mean, like, all right, so there's this thing where they're trying to, like, men becoming eff effeminate. Yo. I'm not a fan. I'm sorry. Yo. I mean, don't get me wrong. Bring I, the I, man <laughs> back, bro. I love... A masculine man. Come on. And don't get me wrong, I do like men that express their emotions. I feel emotional yes, absolutely. intelligence is very good. Mm. But just to, like, you, you're seeing masculine men paint their nails and, you know, I don't know. It's just. <laughs> Why are we both in the nail salon getting our nails done? What's I know. going on? Here? I, but, okay, let me tell you how I feel about that. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with that for special occasions. Your wedding, you're gonna do a photo shoot. Yeah. No, special you're gonna get I mean, clean. No, no, I mean, no, no, no. The color, like pink and whatnot. Oh, no. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I don't, I'm not talking about like Claire. Oh, baby, no. No, 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 no. I mean like, yeah. I, I'm seeing it a lot too. Cause now you got a lot of worries. Are you gonna cheat on me with? Yes. Shan Shanice <laughs> or Sean? Or both? Like, what are we doing here? Yeah. Yeah, no. You know what who I blame? I blame us for that. Oh. Us women. Because we encouraged, oh, take care of yourself. Yes, I agree. Take care yeah, of yourself. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <clears throat> yes, men too need to be pampered. Why not? Give them their flowers. Mm -hmm. Now there's doing the thing where men getting flowers, a bouquet of flowers with a fitter cap. Mm -hmm. Bro, what? Yeah. What? Go get the pothos. Go get some plants. You know what I'm saying? Why are you getting roses? That's weird. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like we encourage it. We kind of... Okay, multiple things. Let me get my thoughts together. One, I think that a lot of women mm -hmm. now are not realistic. At and, all. At all. I feel like there's many layers so to this true. thing. That at is so all. true. I want to make a man that make... Six figures. That's ridiculous to me. Do you know what's going, my friend? Do you know what's going on out here? What do you mean? Yeah. Do you make six figures? Hell, do you even make fifty thousand dollars? 
You know what I'm saying? It's so not realistic. Like, and it's like the one, the one the men to come already made, already made, not willing to help and assist. Right, but I also get that to a certain extent because you have men where the women help and assisted, they got money and forgot and left. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Like I put on this work and that's how you treat me, so I could understand that fear and that hurt coming from I helped to build and you t- chose somebody else. Yes. Oh, you left me. So I understand that mentality. From a place of hurt? Yes. So, I, I, so I'm just saying so many layers. I'm not saying one is wrong, one is right. But these, I just, you know what I'm trying I just want to lay out why, um, you know, it could be like this. Or why it is like this. So you have that. Mm-hmm. But then we can't put everybody in the same category. That's true. Just because one day doesn't mean the other one's going to do it. Because now you're asking these men to come up with these things yeah have this money have this house have this car have to take you out to this country and that yeah, country so I, of course they're coming on like yeah pamper me too what's up <laughs> yeah yeah no it's it's so true and then you got these men like oh yeah be groomed up so they feel like they're spending money two hundred dollars on the, these hair because these lace front be lace fronting lace front <laughs> getting their nails done of course, they want to be so African. Because I put money into this. Yeah. Hold me down. What's up? That's so true. But that's a girl's job. What, like, what? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, we kind of created this monster. We really did. We, really we did. created this monster that and, we got now. And then all of the things that they're asking for in men, a lot of it is materialistic. <laughs> like, what happened to, like, wanting a man of, like, great character? Character character is like huge huge like how, how does he treat his family how does he treat people his who, mother how does yeah. he treat his father yeah what are, if you have one what are his relationships like right you know like with other people with his friends how many friends he got right how, well, how he, the friends like yeah like uh, don't care about that is he no is he there for the his is he there for his friends is he emotionally intelligent is he gonna help you like like just look for things that last like, right because six that figures, you can come alongside him and help him to make the six, six figures. figures and y'all could enjoy it together yeah it's like it's like they're just like no we want our men ready made yeah. i i get it but it's not realistic rest in <clears> peace <throat> kevin samuels i didn't agree with a lot of things that he said but oh, some things yeah. i he, just be like he was wild yo he's a wild <laughs> yo that i was about to come that, that dude, man was wild that dude went however mm-hmm. sometimes mm-hmm. he made a point Especially when we talk about sometimes, yeah. these girls want to come get a man that have all this money, <laughs> but it'd be like, do you work? No, I, I know, right? And then, and then. So what do you bring <laughs> it to the table? Now I know somebody who mm. wanted a woman that, <laughs> yo, <laughs> <laughs> you're these wild expectations, huh? <laughs> yo, wild. Had this kind of job, make mm-hmm. this kind of money, cook this, that. that. I'm like, my, fa- my nigga, do you work? Wow. No. So I, I, I straight up had to ask him, mm-hmm. fam, heard you. Not say you shouldn't have standards, you should. I'm like, but what are you bringing to the table? Exactly. Or are you just coming to sit to the table yeah. with an empty plate to And eat? just take it. Like, nah. He couldn't answer that question. I said, you cannot have all these requests when you yourself can't fulfill not one thing on that request. Oh, that's so true. You hit the nail on the head. It's so true. You have this long list and you're not even working on anything. On that <laughs> on that, you yourself can't <laughs> fulfill. You want to say, Madame, do you have six figures? <laughs> no. Okay, so shut up. Like, you know what I'm saying? You really have to think like that. All this stuff that I'm requesting mm-hmm. that a man or a woman should have mm-hmm. cannot even fulfill one thing on that and if you're mad, oh, she learned, she gotta learn, know how to cook. Can you cook? Can true, yeah. Because if she's sick, just had a baby, can't cook. Can you feed the family? Yeah. Mm-mm. There's no way. <laughs> like, <laughs> you gonna buy Popeyes? <laughs> Popeyes, <laughs> like my father would say. Popeyes. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing. It's like, <clears throat> heard you have your standards, yes, mm-hmm. but be realistic. Be realistic, and 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 tweak. Tweak the standards in areas that can be tweaked. Yes, and I'm not saying settle. Do not settle. Yeah, don't settle. Do not settle, sure. but you got to learn to humble yourself. Yeah, and put things <laughs> into place. Like, there are certain things that are higher than others. Like, Christian women, 
you have to make sure he's a Christian first and foremost. They be thinking that oh, if I, when I marry him, God is gonna fix it. No, right. sis. Good luck marrying somebody who don't believe what you believe in. And good luck. It's God forbid gonna, kids come through, come come in the picture. It's gonna go left, all the way left, real quick, real quick. Okay, because we tend, because we get so desperate, because we're about we worry about age, we're about having kids, having kids and the clock. It. Yeah, we rush oh, it. Let's not talk about the clock. <laughs> talk about the clock. <laughs> talk about the clock. Oh my gosh. How about how about first watch what you eat? Yeah. Then the goes. clock really don't affect you that much because you got women in Africa, fifty something years old, for sure having kids. Out. Yeah, kids. I, not only that, with no issues. With no issues. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, yes, the <clears> clock is a thing, but it's not impossible because people in the Bible are having kids way older. Oh yeah. So that's one. Watch what you eat. For sure. I did not want to go into this conversation, but stop drinking coffee. Yeah. Like, no, no for real. It's, for real. it's a like, real thing. It's a real thing. This is another it topic, is, and it sounds wild because I was a big coffee drinker. Y'all see my coffee videos? But yes. I remember I used to pray to God, like, God, mm-hmm. bless us on another child, and he'll be like, stop drinking coffee. I'm like, coffee, what's a big deal? It's not a big deal. Stop drinking coffee. Then now listen, because addiction. You're addicted to You're coffee. You're addicted to it, yeah. Addicted to coffee, still want to drink coffee, did not care, still want to drink coffee, and I ended up having a miscarriage. And then when I looked up, when the doctor told me what kind of pregnancy it was or what mm-hmm. happened, I looked it up, and what causes that was caffeine. It was coffee. And not just regular caffeine, like green tea or whatever, but coffee. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, oh, that's why God told me to stop drinking coffee. And that was a lesson for me. And then when you do your research about side effects or risk of coffee it mentions miscarriages but of course they're not going to tell us this mm-hmm. because it's a money maker <clears throat> our coffee be this big it's a routine it's not you know what i'm saying yeah a lot of i have fibroids too mm-hmm. i have fibroids and i'm i remember son stephanie like when i used to drink coffee my uterus used to hurt but i didn't equate that pain to coffee i just yeah. thought maybe a set ro- i don't know i just yeah. kind of made up whatever story i'm i because i didn't drink coffee because Everybody drinks it. Everybody and drinks it's it. All and this it's, day. Yeah, it's like one of those things where you just use to even just celebrate. Hey, let's just have coffee. Let's just have coffee. Let's have two two cups, three cups a day. You know? It's like, nah. And a lot of people are suffering from fibroids, and a lot of people are suffering from PCOS, and a lot of, not that it causes PCOS. I don't know what causes PCOS, but they'll always, PCO, yeah. But they always tell you, don't drink coffee. Yeah. Why is that? And there's a reason, there is a reason why they tell you don't drink coffee when you're pregnant. Why is that? Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? They don't tell you these things, but like, I know the conversation went left, but like, stop drinking coffee. Yeah. And that's a different video for a different day. Maybe we could just do another Another video just on that. Um, Yeah. Stop drinking coffee. Absolutely. It's not healthy. And uh, there are a lot of side effects. Side effects. Don't you know this? uh, Like I said, it is marketed towards women mostly. Mostly. And it's for a reason. It's for a reason. (laughs) It's like a a plot. I'm not saying coffee is the only reason why somebody might be struggling with having kids. It's just one of those things. And not right. only that, too, it causes heart palpitations. Yes! I, I had those. Um, My cousin had those. She said she ago. drank it. She had a heart. Stuff was happening. Yeah. She went to a doctor. Your heart was just, you, I, like, I would legit have situations where my heart would just go, like, doing its own thing. And I was like, wow, that was scary. I had the whole salsa dance. Like, bro, what? And then and then my doc, I went to the cardiologist, and he was just like, you drink coffee? I'm like, yeah. He's like, how many? I'm like, two a day. He's like, mm-mm. Leave it alone. <laughs> it's like, they know. Nobody's <laughs> yeah. telling you and this he, until he, something happens. And I legit left it alone, and it, it went away. And, and, my, and because of how addictive it is, it went away when I went back to it. It started dancing again. <laughs> And then no, it's like God just God is just like how many but lessons I'm gonna you, have to teach, teach you, you. Steph? Like, but she's God told you to stop drinking coffee too, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Even before I looked up um, how many like what were the effects of it, you know? Mm-hmm. Even before I looked that up or did any research, he was just like you know just just leave it alone. Why do we do that? I God tells us one thing: we ignore and go look up a sign. And when science says it, we go, oh go confirm. We're so disrespectful. It's so it's so wild. But you know you will. We're learning. Don't make us <laughs> We are disrespectful. We're blank parents. No, we are. We are. We need to be obedient. But we're so... But he is so patient. Patient. Isn't he patient? Because I couldn't be God. <laughs> because let me tell you, I done been done with all, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Fine enough. You know, I don't know about that, Raymond. Never mind. <laughs> Let's do this again. 
<laughs> yo, but y'all. No, seriously. Yellow. And I think that it is also hard for us to quit. Not because, yes, addiction is one of it. I think because we love the culture of coffee. We have an addiction. Yes. We have the addiction with holding a cup. That's so and, true. And, and th- that whole. I know. The whole, yeah. The, the whole, whole aura cult, of that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are addicted to the coffee culture. I know. That's so true. That's the so lipstick true. on the cup. And yeah. The smell. Girl, let's of catch it. up. Yeah. And you have to have the cup and the whole, just the whole look of it. Too. Starbucks with a you siren know? on it. Look up what the siren mean. I'm like, <laughs> okay. Mame what that. That's what Africans say. But go look up what the siren mean. Maybe you could put two and two together. But like, seriously, I think we are addicted to the culture of coffee. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to lie. The culture and the taste. Yeah. You know, it's just, you know, when fall comes, spice, what's it called? Pumpkin spice Pumpkin, time. Yeah. Like we, it's us. They're even. It's yeah. mostly women that do that crap. That's so true. So even people who even don't have coffee, they have a season to get people who don't we're, even like we're coffee, coffee in it. Like, oh yeah, I like my pumpkin spice. Well, I don't really mess with it any other time of the year. And I think it was hard for me to give it up and even believe what God was telling me, which is stupid. Because Ethiopians been drinking coffee since the beginning of time. Coffee is so old. I'm like, well, they've been living to 100 and something. Clearly, it's not that bad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But we don't know how it's affecting their body. Yeah. We don't know if it, they could have lived longer. We don't, but at the same time, they're drinking black. Yeah. And we don't know the quality of coffee they're getting compared to what we're getting here. That's so true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I guess we could try healthier alternatives. Tea. Tea. Just drink tea. That's what I've been drinking. Ginger tea. <laughs> Black tea. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 green tea. Yeah. Because the crap we get, it, it ain't good. Mm-mm. No. It is not good. So, them fibroids you got, sis, them PCOS and that... Infidelity. Yeah, inf- infertility. Inf- infidelity. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, if I say infidelity, I hope your man's not cheating on you. My bad. <laughs> infertility. Yeah. My bad. Yep. God forbid. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> but no, infertility. You might. I'll, I'll challenge you to stop drinking coffee. Let's yeah, see just just try it. Just just stop. You're gonna get. And isn't it weird that when you stop drinking coffee, you start getting headaches? You get headaches for a couple of days. You ever experienced that? For sure. Yeah. That's, that's a weird. That's a freaking withdrawal. That's, that's that a withdrawal. Dr- it's drugs, guys. <laughs> that joint is drugs. It is legal drugs that we've been taking, guys. Like for real. It's so true. It's it is. Crazy. It is. It's, it's wild. It's wild. All right. So back to these men. All right. So they they wild, right? So that's a lot of layers to go through. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of hoops to jump through. It is. A ton. A ton. Do they be cute at least? Not. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, that's. that's <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so that's like another thing you have to consider too. You You're know. not going to get cute ones? Cute ones don't love Jesus? I don't know, man. I'm not seeing, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not seeing much. <laughs> B, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, not even. And for me, attraction is big. I would hope so. For sure. No, but I, so so not, they're not easy on the eye. Not, harsh? No, not many. I've I've actually tried dating. I'm slow enough, and I don't know. It's just. I don't maybe think it's for ask, me. maybe God has got to make you help you see different S- or to be seen. <laughs> you know. Because I feel like I'm hidden. Yeah? Yeah, in that sense, where it's just like, yeah, or to see different. I don't know, but I'm not you. I'm not seeing. You think so? Attractive or, you know, probably a few. No, you're beautiful. That's a fact. But do you think, do you think that, especially men in the church, Mm -hmm. they're so afraid to approach? Punks. But do you think that, (laughs) do you think that they have options because there's so many more women than men as the bible would say in the end time mm-hmm. women will outnumber the men mm-hmm. um because you know i'm not gonna go into that i'm not gonna go <laughs> we're not gonna go there we're not gonna go there <laughs> we are not yeah i ain't gonna come for me and i really don't care if you do but not today i pick a different day for that but <clears throat> do you think they have so many so much options but they feel like or do you think that they believe that women have this crazy expectation and standards that they know they can't fulfill 
so they are even afraid mm-hmm. to approach because i've noticed some men are intimidated by women yes yeah yeah absolutely so uh, men are intimidated by women that you know um come across as independent Mm-hmm. Like, but the thing is, they won't even take the time to peel back the layers to yeah. see, you know, because yeah. what you're going off of is just you're just seeing this person, you're yeah. just meeting this person. Yeah. There are so many layers to somebody, yeah, yeah, yeah. so you have to set the time out to know, yeah. you know, is this is this a type of woman that's independent but, and she can't be led, or right. she 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 doesn't. But you want have to, that those kind of women, of course. I'm an independent woman. I don't need like All I right. want if, to be led, right? Like, nice. <laughs> Me. L- lead me not yeah. to the fire but lead <laughs> me to the lord like yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? because you do have those women who just like i don't know and the minute a man feel like he cannot play his role as a man yeah god created, to be the cultivator and the leader of the household For that sure. god created him to be he's like you don't need me that's so true and the thing is like, men men want to feel needed yes and they need to feel needed that's their that, no, like seriously, they, God they, made us different. Yeah, men want to be respected and needed, and needed. Yeah, and woman wants to be loved. Yes, you know what I'm saying? You nailed it. That's, that's <laughs> it. So the minute you rob I'm him taking of, care of, I yeah. don't need you. Yeah, I don't respect you as the man of the household. He's like, well, what's my what's the point? Yeah, me what's being? my role? I'm out. I, I I don't even need. I can't play know? my role. Yeah, same for a woman. The woman to feel like the woman don't the woman feel like she cannot be loved the way she needs to be loved mm-hmm. or protected and i don't feel like men understand a lot of men don't understand they think that protection protecting a woman a woman wants to feel protected is only just if somebody breaking the house i can protect you no 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 we don't feel we're protected financially yeah know that if anything happens you got us financially sure. won't be protected emotionally. emotionally emotionally spiritually like you praying down Everything. the house Ooh. so when the <laughs> demons come in yeah they you know need, that you send them right back out okay <laughs> out socking them so like we want to man if you're watching this when we talk about women want to feel protected we're not just talking about the physical we're talking about everything, everything. physical spiritual emotional financially 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 mm-hmm. financially and we're not saying to come already made, yeah. but have a plan and work towards have a plan. Have a plan. Because we cannot take, and I can speak for myself, we cannot, I'm a, when I was, I couldn't take, if you show me that, yo, this is my plan, mm-hmm. I'm working towards that plan, mm-hmm. okay. When me and Demi started, we were broke. Okay. <laughs> it didn't look like it, but we were broke because God was blessing us. Yeah. But I was okay with staying where we were with because I knew he was a working man. He had a plan and he was working towards that plan. It wasn't just, I have these big dreams and do nothing for sure to fulfill that dream. You get what I'm saying? I'll make sure that dream come true. So it's like, I think a good woman that is not all about materials and all that stuff, mm-hmm. just want to see, are you working towards that plan or are yes. you all just talk? Yes. Because the yes. minute you become all talk, I, now you lost trust. Exactly. Now you don't feel protected because you're exactly. not. Exactly. Because you want a man that is about his word. He said he is going to do this. He's going to do his very best to make sure it's, it's You know what I'm done. saying? Men are supposed to be following Christ as an example. And we are For supposed sure. to follow our husbands. So if Christ keeps his word, yeah, you need to be doing the same thing. Keeping your word. Don't say, oh, but I'm going to go find a job. Are you playing video games all day? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> you, what do you mean? Like, <laughs> nah, it's so, it's so like, true. And, you, and then I don't think they understand that the minute you break that promise, the minute you don't do what you're what you said what you you're said going to you're do, gonna do, that trust is lost. And yeah. that loss of trust goes to many different avenues. For sure. And then the thing is, what happens is you you birth a woman now that is now she she feels like she needs to take matters into her own hands. And then that's when you birth the independent woman. And then in 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 in, <laughs> in, in reaction to in results of that becomes now I don't respect you. Yeah. Now you men are affected by her being disrespectful to you or not respecting you because if you get how that whole is a big cycle. It's like a big cycle. Because like I don't respect you because you can't keep your word. You can't do anything. I gotta do everything. everything. Yeah, I gotta do everything. And you create, you build resentment, and then then you start popping off at the mouth. Yeah, because now you (laughs) don't know. Yeah, because you built resentment because you're not doing. You're not doing your role. You're not. So I gotta play my role and your role. And it and it's frustrating to me as heck because I'm not built to make this. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because that's a I'm, real thing, yo. You know, so that's what, I mean, if you look at single mothers, whether if their spouse passed away or their baby father was not in the picture, whatever the case may be, mm-hmm. a lot of times they tend, not always, but they get angry. 
Oh, yeah. It's hard to raise a child by yourself because you was not supposed to do it alone. Exactly. And that is why all that anger and pent Because you're playing a role that's not yours. It's not. It's not supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? It's a lie. It's a lie. And it would frustrate anybody. Right. Anyone. But, you know. And even if you're married, right? Because mm-hmm. there's three situations. If you're married mm-hmm. and your husband is not helping out with raising their kid or taking care of their house, that crap is also very frustrating. Yeah. It is. Because you're not playing a role. Mm-mm. You, you, you came into this thing with the all these, commitment. Mm-hmm. You came with all these vows, and you're supposed to, you know. Don't get me wrong. You do have seasons where you're low and all of that stuff. Mm-hmm. So I get that. But if majority of the marriage is just you checking out, then no, you, you it's not gonna work. You neglected the role. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about Christian women being on dating apps? Um, I feel like. All right, so I was against it initially. Mm-hmm. Typical. Yeah, because I'm just like. I mean, people are crazy. Craig, Craig, the, the Craigslist killer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And, and what's the other guy? Swindler. <laughs> was that it? Mm-hmm. They be killing people. I know. It's so well. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I think it's something that you have to pray about. Yeah. It's because for you. yeah, I started the dating apps because of COVID. I wasn't going out. And I'm the type that go out, you know? Mm-hmm. I like I like going. Well, mm-hmm. recently, mm-hmm. not really, you know? <laughs> I'm kind of like a homebody now. But, um, oh, wow. yeah, during during that time, mm-hmm. it was difficult to, you know, come across people. Mm-hmm. And I think uh, just socializing was difficult. Mm-hmm. So it was just like, how am I going to meet people if I'm at home all the time? Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm used to just even going... Uh, uh, Going to coffee shops. See, I used to go get coffee a lot. But we'll some tea. Yeah, now it's gonna be tea. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm um, traveling. I travel a lot, so um, that's how I kind of put myself out there to mm-hmm. be seen and all of that. Mm-hmm. But dating apps, I'm not against it if you're the type that don't really wanna, you know, head out too mm-hmm. much. Um, but I do believe you should be out there, you know, mm-hmm. and. Just putting yourself out there and praying about it. I think yeah. that's the I think that's the very first thing. Yeah. Pray about it, cause maybe God is just like, all right, you know, no, that's not for you. That's not your thing. But I don't see anything, you know, like yeah. in the word that's yeah. like against it. Like, why are you even doing yeah. this? Because you know we're living in a different time and age. You know, where meeting people is not just in person. It's yeah. everywhere now. Right. Right. <laughs> so it's just like. It's important to do your due diligence when you on those dating apps mm-hmm. to make sure that you really get to know them and be careful. <laughs> be careful. Okay. You know? Yeah. But then I feel like also know your past, know your weakness, know your shortcomings. If you know that you was a serial dater or you was always, you know, you lived that life. Mm-hmm. I ain't going to say it, but you know, if you a harlot. <laughs> 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 If you know you was a harder back in the day before Jesus. <laughs> Let's be for real now. But if you know you was a harder back in the day before Jesus, yeah. and this is not really mm-hmm. your strong point, pray about it. This might not, the dating app might not be yours. Yeah. yeah it just true. might not be. You might meet your husband at the gas station. Gas station. Random spots though. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that's the thing too. Yeah. A lot of times um, we feel like we're, we're going to meet him. We're going to meet our husbands in the church nah. or just in those circles. Nah. nah. It can be so random. So random. In a library. Wherever. 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 So random. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. God is the type of God that, you know, he doesn't, it's, it's not, you don't have to be within a certain environment. Yeah. He's going to make it work. Yeah. However. And, and being patient, because I'm about to tell my friend all the time. Oh, when you be, yeah, that word is <laughs> y'all know. Because I think, look at this from this perspective. Girl. <laughs> your husband could have been out last night. I would say your husband right now being the club. Trying to. He need to be saved by now. <laughs> at least. But you never know. <laughs> A thousand years is a day for God. There is a thousand years. So true. God could save somebody in the day and do a so, whole transformation. That is so true. You okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I always say. No, you're right. You're right. Be patient because, and sometimes, but that goes to show you how sometimes our disobedience can push back God's plan. Yeah. Because God could be like, I've been trying to save you and bring you to me for five years. Your freaking wife been waiting 
for a husband, which is you. Yeah. But you sitting out here want to smoke weed all day <laughs> and club and drink Casamigos all day. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just like some. But think about it. It could be. You could have been somebody's wife, but you was out here. I don't know what you was doing. What were you doing? <laughs> right? Clubbing, clubbing. Clubbing. Well, maybe yeah. when you was clubbing, your yeah. your husband was ready for a wife, but you was out here like, yeah, bad my flower, but no, you was pull not, up. Pull up. <laughs> <laughs> you was not ready. Yeah, but no, for sure. Twenties. Yeah, uh, I was not ready. Twenties, probably late twenties. Yeah, but yeah, that was. I think I, I was. I got serious. Well, I got serious after I left. Uh, I left school because God was. God was like, that was wild. No, God was <laughs> like, like, no, he should have you told me, you don't make it, no, if you don't change your life now, you don't make it into heaven. I was like, God, chill out. I'm oh, not for real? Kid, like that? I'm not kid, you know. Oh, snap. It was two dreams back to back of me not making it into heaven. He spoke to me, where you going when I come? Wow. I was like, God, I want to kill people. <laughs> <laughs> like, that was my, I want to kill people. <laughs> He's like, God, I'm not that bad. <laughs> I'm like, I ain't never murdered. I'm not even a, okay, I did kill something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna kill people. Like, really? Yeah. But he was just like, no, 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 no. That's not what it's about. That's so crazy. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I want to say it's like, we could have delayed our blessing. Not that you did or anybody. We don't know. I don't know. I'm not God. Mm-hmm. But just to put things into perspective, mm-hmm. like, we also delayed things because of our disobedience. Yeah. Yeah. But obedience is such is such a big thing. God would be like, oh yeah, that's your husband, but you don't want to read. You don't want to spend time with him. You don't want to do what mm-hmm. he's asking you to do. You don't want to stop going to clubs. You it's like, well, you're not ready, so I'll give yeah. him, I'll give him or I'll give him or I'll give her to somebody else. Now you gotta wait again. Now you big mad. Now you mad at God. No, be mad at yourself and Satan. Yeah, true. Because y'all did this in partnership. <laughs> Before, right? <laughs> right, like, come on, let's be for real. Like I've been trying to call you though. Right. For a while. Right. And you're just like, oh here. God, I'd rather drink Ciroc. That was back in the day. Like I know. 20s, yeah. Was oh, a yeah. Thing. yeah. Oh, yeah. Vodka, vodka was a thing. Oh, I still get nah. chills. Yeah. Ew. Yeah. I, I used I, to mix liquor, too. I hated the so taste of liquor. So I was like, ah. I, <laughs> I hated the taste of liquor. For real? I just got drunk because everybody else was on 10. I'm like, no, why I catch no, up? No, you're right. You're right. I think that's like how we did it. Liquor tastes nasty as heck. You see what peer pressure does? Yo. It's so wild. Liquor's nasty. It, People are like, oh, it's so smooth. Weird, because it burns my throat. Smooth, weird. Yeah. I think the only the only alcohol I'll drink is wine. Yeah. No. But before I was like, how you how we just drink this? I drink Ray and Nephews, bro. <laughs> that drink says overproof. <laughs> the heck was I doing that? <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Liquor and stuff is like disgusting. stuff like that, like on the rocks, and you just feel it burn. I get the chills every thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah. That was wild. It was horrible. Why did we live like this? I don't know why. Don't it was it. fun. That's what it was. <laughs> was it? I don't, we don't remember half of it. It was fun, but it was not worth it. I'm gonna pass it. Someone said this. And work. then, and then, sorry. Wake, waking up with like a crazy hangover. Head hurt. It's just like that was wasn't it? worth it. <laughs> it really wasn't. The next day, get up, drink, eat some bread, and do it again. And do it again. You went back again. You did it Friday night, Saturday yeah, night. We <laughs> sat on Sunday. <laughs> And even in the week, because yeah. Jamaican culture is, we're gonna party all the time. So yeah. they even had like Wednesday parties and whatever. It's pasta, so, pasta, pasta for you. Yeah, pasta, pasta, weddy, weddy, Wednesdays. Yeah. <laughs> you heard of those? Yep. <laughs> wow. But it's just like, pretty much just crazy. Because mm-hmm. I was in college, I'm on my friend Haja, <laughs> Friday, <laughs> in front of my classroom. Mm-hmm. Big McDonald's cup. I'm like, oh, class is over five minutes. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'll leave class five minutes later. That McDonald's cup got, got some type of Jack Daniels. Oh my gosh. Mix, mix? Everything mix up? Oh. Mix up, mix up. Pre-gaming for the tournament we're going to do. Yeah. But the thing I hate about it is, because it is to catch up with me late, mm-hmm. right? So I'm like, oh, just because you want the effect of liquor, right? Yeah. I'm not getting drunk. I'm not getting drunk. So I drink so much and then I pass out. <laughs> then next day I wake up, how was the party? <laughs> oh, you didn't remember anything? Because <laughs> I passed out. It's like, you, it's like, what is the point? It's, uh... You pay for the party to go into the party. You pay to go into the club and you pass out. And then you didn't forgot, you didn't even get to experience it. Not worth it. But, Pastor, I'm going to put this in perspective. I said, mm-hmm. yo, that's so crazy. We look stupid as heck. <laughs> you no know, people said, oh, party was so fun. Mm-hmm. I was so drunk. 
I forgot what happened. How was that fun? That was not fun. That you don't even remember. What is yeah. the fun? You remember until nine o'clock. Yeah. I feel back. like I feel like the fun comes from like being there with your friends and hanging out and all of that. And but remembering then, what you did. Yeah. If you did. <laughs> Which wasn't even a lot. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like half the time you don't even remember for real. Yeah. And you're just like, why did I do that? And they have to go through pictures. Like, oh wait, what? This happened. Oh, that was wild. And then everybody telling you the whole story. And, and you're just like, like, really? Yeah, it would have been better if you actually was alive to see it. It's so crazy. It's, it's so just, sad. and then looking back now, you're just like, that wasn't even worth it. No. <laughs> no. It wasn't even. No. We just wanted to, you know, why you did it? Like, to, to fit in or it just felt like? No. Because, <clears throat> why not, not to fit in, but... Everybody, I guess in a way, if you think about it, because everybody used to be drunk, right? Mm -hmm. And it's so annoying mm -hmm. to be sober and everybody else is drunk and uh. you're talking foolishness. And it's so annoying. So, so to true. not be conscious yeah. enough to deal with the annoyance of everybody being drunk, I got drunk with them. So we all be annoying together. <laughs> <laughs> like, really, that's... Like, y'all on time, I tell, I'm about to meet y'all at time because I'm not about to be sober mm -hmm. dealing with y'all nonsense. <laughs> so I just get drunk too. So it's like, all right. Now it's yeah. four dumb, stupid, drunk people together. Yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah, yeah. That's why I did it. Why did you do it? I think. I think. I think the same too. Just it was just more like pressure. Uh, like, oh, y you guys doing it? Yeah, I'm gonna do it too. Right. It looks like fun. It looks like how, you guys having fun. <laughs> how dumb do we sound? What if it's a group of four of us? Mm -hmm. I said I don't. I want to do it because. I don't want to be the only sober person because drunk people are annoying. You want to do it because you don't want to do it. Because, you know. <laughs> How we going to get home? <laughs> if we all spoke, if we, oh, y'all don't want to do it either? Okay, let's just stay sober. It would have been a different story. So true. Yeah. But just the, the noise oh that gosh. tells you, yo, you got to do it to be cool. It's like, nah, I'm good. They used to pack me up mm -hmm. every Friday night because I always used to pass out. For real? They used to pack me up. <laughs> like, oh, they used to pack me up. I just wake up next morning. How did I get here? <laughs> oh, so and so brought you home. Oh. Dang. That was a party. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I got packed up. For real? <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <sighs> so I don't know. I don't know. I don't I don't know. I don't even know. I have no advice for those who are single. Dated. I have nothing because it's, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what is out here. I mean, I know what is out here, mm -hmm. but I don't know where they came from. I don't know, man. It's, it's, it's a lot. Do you think we just, do you think it's just like that in New York? Cause New York is such a hustle mentality. I feel like, I feel like it would be a little bit better in the South. No. That's, that's just what I think. Yeah. Because I feel like I've I, heard that before, though. Yeah, I feel like um, New York is very hustle mentality. I'm trying to reach it's so, accomplish my dreams. Nobody's worried about marriage. It's so yeah, and everybody is just all right. So people are busy generally, mm -hmm. right? So either you're busy marriage, children, all of that stuff. But no, single people have like four businesses, <laughs> and you're just like, yeah. When are you gonna get time to even? Yeah, you know. Yeah. This this hustle hustle grind grind, you know, and. It may come back and bite you too, mm -hmm. cause y'all need to rest. Yeah, like rest is important. But God showed us the importance of rest because He created the world in what, seven days. He, no, He rested on the seventh yeah, day. Yeah, rested on the seventh. Does God really have to rest? No, no, He did he, to show he, us. To that. show us. No, no, no. You have to rest. We gotta rest. You know what I'm saying? So what is all these? What's the point of doing all this hustle, hustle, hustle? Because one thing my mother always say, no mm -hmm. mother is a nurse, so she says that. Usually when you get old people, mm -hmm. when they and they talk, their regret is always, I should have married that woman, or I should have married that man, or yeah. I should have had kids. Mm -hmm. Even if they're married, oh, we should have had kids. Because you oh, realize wow. what's really important in, in life. That's so true. It's not, it's never, oh, I should have built me another house, or I should have got me another business. Always, I should have married, took, taken that woman serious, I should have married that man, or I should have yeah. had kids. It's always those things. Wow. Yeah. All all related to relationships. Yeah. It's never <laughs> I should have got me a Ferrari. Uh, Nobody cares. Should have got a bigger house. Wow, what was that? I lived yeah, in. Yeah, a bigger house just <laughs> more know? cleaning. Yeah. 
It's so crazy. Yeah, so that, it's that's like, it. You gotta find the balance. See, we, we have to find the balance. It can't mm. just be all hustle, hustle, hustle. Great, you make the buku money to share with who? With who? That's so true. And then the that's thing okay. is, it, when you die, you're not taking it with you. Yeah. Yeah. And, and if you say, I'm going to bury my money with me, all right, that currency don't work in heaven or wherever heaven <laughs> Yeah, right? It, it burns. It, it's <laughs> it's not going to... But then forget burning. If right now, because I watched that movie with the Obama and the Batus. Mm-hmm. If there was a war, mm-hmm. who cares about money? What do people usually go after if there's a war? Food, Food. shelter, water. Food. Yeah, food shelter. And maybe clothes on your back, depending on the weather. Who's sitting there like, oh, look, this trade is Prada bag? Hmm? That does Prada. not matter. I'm not right. going to need Prada. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I got $20 for you for, to buy what? Yeah. The bangs are burned down. Mm-hmm. I need food. That money, you get what I'm saying? The value of money is nonsense, really, when you look at it. Yeah. When you look at Real hard situations usually shelter, mm-hmm. food, and people. Mm-hmm. You need people to give you the shelter. You need people to give you the food. So it goes. It goes hand in hand. Yeah. You know. So. But yeah, man, I don't know. Yeah, but just that. I pray for whole, my sisters, y'all. Yeah. And my husband. My, Def- my husbands. My Definitely. brothers. Keep us in prayer. Because these <laughs> women are wild. Yeah, it goes both ways. I yeah. feel like I feel like there's a narrative that's going around that both are just horrible. There's a okay, so I think what I, me and Damon talk about this all the time. What mm-hmm. I see Satan doing mm-hmm. is he has created a men versus women war. Men, men versus women. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We are like going against each other. Going and it's it's so sad. This to is see. literally a plan of the enemy, and we it are is. all fa- falling for it. Falling for it, big time. Okay. Men can't be men because they're being misogynistic or being too. <clears throat> women now you have feminine. That's feminist movement. Mm-hmm. But then women go to the next end of like, oh, I'm a woman, and di- it's just like, can we just all chill? Yeah. Let men be men. I'm not saying condone men that feel like women are less. No, 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 no. no. Try that crap yeah. not smacking your face. No, we, don't we, do that we're crap. not doing that. We're right. not lesser. <laughs> right. Because God didn't think it was complete until He created no, us. No, no, so no. 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 Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, it's like. Like, Why don't we just live out our roles? Uh, right. Acknowledge <clears throat> each being mm-hmm. for their uniqueness. You are a man. This is how you think. This is how you move. Love that for you. That's yeah. how you move. You're a woman. We like to sit and kiki and <laughs> drink coffee. It's not a coffee, but, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. We like to do cute little things. Or if you don't, you know what I'm trying to say? We are just built differently. That is what it is. Like, I see videos all the time of like men, when you leave them to babysit the child. They come with the most ridiculous way to feed them to, or play. Yeah. And women be like, it's oh my God. It's so like, cute. But I think it's dope. I yeah. don't panic over it. I'm like, that's how y'all bring work? A, yeah. That's, that's how, fire. That's how you guys that's process That's how y'all it. made. And that's how y'all process things. That's so true. You got it. I feel like if we could st- step back and just look at each creature mm-hmm. and look at their differences and their uniqueness and how they process things and just appreciate it for how God made oh, them. So true. It will be a different world. Yeah. But right now, just like we are going against each other for our difference. Why do you think that is? Why are you like that? Because that's how they like, think. <laughs> it's like, how about you learn? You learn them. Right. Yeah. It's it's like we need men and men need us. Point blank, baby. Period. It's just what it is. Hands down. <laughs> like, yeah. like even the whole independent woman narrative. I don't need no man. No. I sorry. Don't. I, Sorry, um, I, I, I'm not yeah. that independent. Sorry, because if some problems in my house, <laughs> let, forget the house, somebody break it. I, I don't have the hands. Run across the state. I need somebody. We ain't got the hands for that. No, no, that's, I'm not. We can't handle that. So. I can't, look. What? Yeah. I need a man to be like, I got this rat situation. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. So the it's it's crazy. Too shape to you. I need a man. For sure. Okay, we both need each other. We do. And we need to stop trying to cancel each other out. Yeah. We need to stop doing it. It's really annoying. It's very annoying. It's very annoying. And we have to respect each other. Have to. And see the importance of each other. God created two, a male and a female. He didn't create this one and say, all right, go take over the world. No, 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 no. Yeah. He created two. Yeah. And, and, And roles of, you know. Know your role. Know your role as a woman. Know your role as a man. Your role as a man, be a leader, be a cultivator, uh, uh, be wise, 
You know what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. Let the Lord lead you if you believe in him. If you don't, I don't know what to tell you because I don't have advice for that. But like, you know, in a woman, be submissive. Meaning, and I feel like that word has been tainted by the world. Be, be by the world, by me. making it seem like, oh, yeah. no, be silent. Just no, no, to that's not submissive because I got a big says. mouth and I got a lot of opinions, <laughs> okay? At the same time, I'm still submissive. Don't, don't, don't say anything back to him. <laughs> You're not saying that, baby girl. Okay, that's not what we are saying. Yeah. But you, you know that some things he gotta let him handle it. Trust that he got it. True. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And some parts, God. That's also why God put. It. You feel in your heart as because we got the women instincts. Hmm. If you know in your heart something is off, tell him. There been times where I be feel like I was. I, I feel like something's all God's something. Mm, that's not good. And I will not tell Damon because I be oh he got, he got it up. and whatever he, God told him to tell him not to do, he would do it and it goes wrong. But yo, I don't know what happened. I say, no, God told me to tell you. I say, yo, why every why time you get you tell these me? things, yeah, yeah, you yeah. don't tell me? Yeah, because I feel like you got it. You got yeah. to, right? So you cannot, you got, you, ba- humans don't understand balance. We have to yeah. understand balance. There's so, there's balance in so many things. In everything. <laughs> yeah. In everything. For you sure. get what I'm saying? So I think knowing your role, knowing their role, and also respecting each other for their roles. Yeah. And not getting prideful mm-hmm. and thinking you're better than the next. And trying to take over the next person's role. Yeah. Don't do that. Like, this is team. Teamwork. Teamwork. Straight up. All right, guys. <laughs> As you can see, it's a little different because <laughs> it, we got cut off. That is that. We're going to end this video here because we've been ended by force. So we're just going to follow through. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a blessed week. And I cannot wait to hear your opinions in the comment. Don't be nasty because this is just an opinion. <laughs> That's how we feel. You don't have to agree. You could disagree respectfully, right? Um, we're just here to just have conversations and just share thoughts and ideas. But, um, yes, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy and I hope this blesses you and, you know, do something for you. I don't know. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. 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 It was good. Yeah. All right. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> sure. All right, you guys. Bye. Right. Bye, guys. <laughs>